While distance education remains a serious struggle for a lot of Clark County District families, but those with special needs students are finding the situation even more challenging. 8 News Now reporter Kristen Drummond shows us their concerns and also their educational rights. Like you turn it in, but there's no attachment. She's already struggling and it's already only the third day. Renee Parker worries about her daughter, Victoria, an eighth grade student with an individualized education program, or IEP. It was verified that she has to be able to see it, hear it, and then actually have somebody there to, to show her how to do it. An issue during full-time distance education at home. There's a lot of stuff that I cannot help her with right now. I'm afraid that she's just going to fall between the cracks. A concern for other parents with special needs children, but one single mother decided to quit her job recently and stay home. When it became a choice of taking care of my kid or going to work, I chose my son. The Clark County School District reopening plan addresses students with disabilities. The website offers a broad overview of their plan of support. I, I talked to my daughter's... Um, caseworker, but she can only do so much. The Legal Aid Center of Southern Nevada says the pandemic should not change the quality of children's education. The organization lists several suggestions parents can add in a child's IEP. There's just not enough resources out here for these special needs kids. Making some families question their child's success this year. For us parents that have the kids with IEPs and 504s, they need the extra special help. Legal Aid Center of Southern Nevada will offer a free special education rights class starting Monday. For more information, visit our website, 8newsnow.com. Reporting in the newsroom, Kristen Drummond, 8 News Now. Now, Kristen also tells us that that virtual class is going to cover a variety of topics, including how to get your child qualified for special ed services.